South Korea's Seiri Pak was something of a pioneer in women's golf. She turned professional in 1996 and went on to win 25 times on the LPGA Tour. Having achieved so much at such a young age, Seiri Pak is, at 34, a relative veteran on the LPGA Tour. She drove the game to the next level in Asia, not just on the ladies' circuit, but across the sport. As you can see, back then, not only me though, from different countries, but probably everybody's like pretty much nearer from South Korea. But we got Annika Sorensen, Kari Wap, Julie Inkster, me, and a little bit a couple years later, Lorena. So just, just everything's been getting bigger and popular. That's why the, the, the LPGs grow so quick and big. And then now, as you see, it just brings a young player from Asia, from the United States, and then all of the country, Europe, and now just can see just big differences that for the five, six, seven years ago. Having started out on the LPGA Tour of Korea, Pak moved to the United States as a 20-year-old in 1997 to pursue her ambition. And it didn't take long for her to settle, winning two majors a year later in 1998. I want to be the best in the world. I just want to be the best, I just want to be number one, so that's one of my big goals. And then I have to like step forward, which is, it's not easy to decide that I'm going to move to US to play where the best golfer in the tour, the LPGA. But as I said, I just want to learn more. I just want to just prove myself to be out here and just want to be the best. With Seiri Pak blazing the trail, South Korean golfers have risen to the peak of the women's game in the last decade. And they now occupy 16 of the top 50 spots in the Rolex rankings. After Pak's US Open triumph in 1998, a flood of victories followed for her compatriots on the LPGA Tour, with Na Yon Choi recently claiming the 100th in a long line of trophies won by Koreans. Personally, for me, it was a pretty good thing, yes. Um, as I said, just right now, not only Asia, but Asian golf is getting bigger and popular. You can see so, so many number of uh, the Asian players that come to US. But not only that, though, you see the more European, more uh, American young you know, players coming at the same time. So that's, that's basically make a huge difference. That is a pretty good thing, I think. While there is certainly talent coming through in the US and Europe, world number one Yanni Seng heads a strong group of Asian players on tour at the moment. Hailing from Taiwan, she has set the season alight with seven victories so far. But how does she compare to number ones of the past? Right now, so far, she's a good top, one of the top players from different countries. So you can see Korea, Japan, I, uh, Sweden, Annika, Julie's the one, and a couple other girls out there. And now Yanni from Taiwan, yes, she has such a, a bright future. The drought is over. Seiri Park is back in the winner's circle. After claiming her first tour victory in three years at the Bell Micro LPGA Classic last year, it looked like Pac was back on track. But can she fully overcome injuries and get back to the top? Of course, I'm definitely. This is what I'm looking for. I mean, I got to like, I think three, four, five years, being a little slow down, but now about no more golf, and then I am really enjoying it. This is probably the best moment I ever had. So I think this is really I need it. And then I knew I'm more mature and my game is getting better every year. And they say, it's just golf is never ended. So it is. I'm pretty sure I am very confident about myself to get back to get what I want.